an entire country falls into step, freely or under coercion. Hitler seeks the total dictatorship. This requires domination over the whole of society. In other words, the elimination or equalization of all social associations and groups. Starting in 1933, all segments of the state, society and economy are gradually brought into line. The biggest obstacle for Hitler is the sovereignty of the regional states. This is repealed bit by bit, and in 1934, finally transferred to the Reich by law. Reichsstatthalter assume the leadership roles of the individual states. Großreinemachen, the civil service is made to reflect the new state. By law, Jewish or politically unpopular civil servants are removed from state service. The trade unions, organizations consisting of millions of workers and employees, represent a particularly serious threat in the eyes of the National Socialists. On May the 2nd, 1933, they are disbanded throughout Germany. SA troops lay waste to trade union halls. They arrest functionaries and burn records. In place of the trade unions comes the National Socialist Deutsche Arbeitsfront. The National Socialist press cheers the complete integration of all workers. General cleaning. The trade unions are disbanded. Now come the political parties. The Berlin-based SPD party headquarters are occupied by the SA. The other parties disband themselves. In mid-July, the NSDAP is declared the only legitimate party. The Reichstag, with only NSDAP members, meets rarely and serves as a stage for Hitler's proclamations. An opposition no longer exists. <laughs> 